Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Alex and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to learn a backflip. I know that there's heaps of videos on YouTube showing you how to do that on grass, but when I started I wasn't bold enough to just flip on grass. So I'm going to show you some drills and tips to how you can get it stage by stage. If you have access to a gym, it's obviously going to be easier for you, but if you don't, you can also set it up using mattresses in your garden. And we also want to make sure that safety comes first. So if you do it, you do it on grass. You always want to have another person there looking at you just in case something goes wrong. Let's get started. A backflip can be taught in many different ways. I teach it in three stages. We're going to be working on arm movement, which is going to help us create momentum. We're going to be working on our takeoff and jump, and then we're going to be working on our rotation. Stage one, arms. So we're going to be coming up, lifting our arms up. If you want, you can be coming up to your toes as well. Then we're going to be counting. We count one, we count two, and we count three as we jump but we don't want too much momentum going back because we want the momentum to be going forwards on our last one. So we just wanna be bringing our arms down slightly and then we wanna use all the power that we have to bring them up and jump as high as we can. So we're going to try together, arms up, down and jump. Stage two, which is the jump. So we want to make sure that as our arms come down, I don't wanna be squatting down too far, just because it is hard for our legs to create momentum when I come down too far. So I wanna be bending my legs just a little bit, and then I'm going to use my arms and the power in my legs to jump up as high as I can. So now as we know how to jump on the floor, one, two, three, I have built a station to help us practice that. So I'm going to be counting my one, two, three and as i jump i'm going to be jumping up as high as i can and landing on my back here one two three and we want to be thinking about jumping as high as we can every single time using our arms and using our legs cool so we're on stage three now and we're going to be working on our rotation and we're going to start just by doing backwards rolls so i'm here i want to make sure that i have enough momentum to go all the way around and then I go straight over my head so my chin goes down to my chest so I don't roll my head to the side, yeah? There are many technical aspects to a roll, but since we're not really practicing a roll, we're just trying to learn that rotation. It doesn't really matter as long as you come around. Make sure that you do it on grass. Once we have our arms, we have our takeoff and we have the rotation, we're going to try to combine them. So we're back to our station and we're going to try to combine the three things we have learned. In the first exercise, we're going to be using our arms, we're going to do the jump, and as I land on my back, I'm going to tuck my legs in as fast as I can. So I go one, two, three, legs in. Once you got this drill, we're going to move on and we're going to add a roll. So I'm going to be jumping up to my back and then I'm going to be doing a roll either to your knees or to your feet. Here I have set up our last station and we're actually going to do a backflip. So you wanna make sure that you're flipping from something higher down to something lower and really soft. You also wanna make sure that you put something soft on the edge and that you have a person there with you. It seems a little bit more scary to jump from something high down to something low, but it's actually much easier because we don't need to jump super high and we also don't need to rotate really fast. So now as we have learned all the stages of a backflip, we want to make sure that we apply them correctly. You're going to be lifting your arms up for one, right? Then we're coming down for two, we're bending our legs, then we're going to be swinging our arms, jumping up for three, and when we are at the very top of our jump, that's when I'm going to be lifting my knees up to my chest to rotate. So this was all I had for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope these drills will help you. If you have any further questions, please let me know. And remember that a backflip is not necessarily something we learn in five minutes or one day. It is something that takes a bit of time, especially because we have to overcome our fear. So remember, be patient, but also be consistent. And if you stick to it, you will get it.